Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. So guys, this is uh, the continuation of IPsec VPN chapter number seven. Uh, in the last uh, video, we also we saw actually uh, this stuff. Uh, we went through the uh, operations of IPsec VPN. Uh, we we we, go, we went through all the steps. We had a discussion regarding how the IK phase one negotiation happens. Uh, then uh, what are this associate uh, parameters uh, how it negotiates over this parameters five parameters what are the two modes main mode aggressive mode uh, we had a discussion uh, regarding step two that is defilement key exchange peer authentication uh, and how the phase two tunnel uh, negotiate so always guys uh, do remember these two points which i've mentioned in this that is in IK phase one configuration we define the policy and in IK phase two configuration we define transform set uh, that is encryption and hashing. So uh, most of guys do get confused regarding IK phase one and IK phase two but uh, uh, I'll give you a short uh, sort of tip uh, by which you can just remember what IK phase one and phase two is. So, uh, what are the differences? If you remember in differences, you will remember it in better way. So, when I talk about uh, phase one and phase two. So, phase one is the uh, first step or the first phase we can see, and this is the uh, later on state, or we can say the last phase or the second phase because there are only two phases. So this is the first one and this is the second one that is one difference uh, this phase one tunnel is uh, is actually um, created on a public network and uh, this phase two tunnel is uh, created on an secured tunnel that is it is actually created over phase one tunnel uh, so this is a big difference the another difference is that the management traffic of ipsec vpn uh, goes through that phase one tunnel and the data the user's actual data traffic goes through phase two and the another difference is that uh, that in configurational stuff from configurational stuff point of view you always defined policy you always use a policy to define a phase one parameters and you use something known as a transform set for phase two again here this tunnel is known as SIGM and this tunnel is known as IPSEC. So this is a big difference. So whenever in configurational point of view also whenever you will do the configurational stuff you know each and every command is going to start with crypto. Okay. So if you are doing some uh, phase one configurational stuff you will use the keyword phase one you will use the keyword crypto isecm and for phase two you will always use the, the, uh, the command as crypto ipsec even the and then the command ahead whatever command is there uh, then for show commands also every show command for phase one will start from show crypto isecm and for this this will start from show crypto IPsec. So this points, guys, you have to remember. If you remember this points, uh, it will be very easy for you to understand the configurational, and you won't get confused. So let's check out the configurational steps, uh, which are used to configure site-to-site -site IPsec VPN using PSK. So I've mentioned these four steps, guys. Uh, and the step number one is. Uh, Step number one is to create an ACL to define the interesting traffic. So when I say about interesting traffic, the traffic which is going to go through that tunnel, that is the interesting traffic. And then we have to define uh, in step two, the uh, parameters which are required for IK phase one tunnel, uh, that is the ISACM tunnel. So here actually we enable uh, crypto ISACM, we configure these parameters, that is H-A-G-L-E. I call it as Hegel parameters we can say so this parameters we configure uh, then we set pure and key so these are the three things we need to do for step number two uh, in step number three guys we define the parameters which are required for IK phase two 
tunnel that is the ipsec tunnel and in step number four we we actually create something known as crypto map yeah guys this is a very important uh, or i can say a step where you actually combine or bundle all the configurational stuff which you have made in ipsec vpn and once you configure this crypto map then we have to apply it to an appropriate interface so for this what we are going to do is we are going to focus on this very small lab uh, i've taken the same lab for uh, consider like a company whose name is abc and is having an office in pune having another office in uh, in some other city of chennai and um, it is having these two routers r1 is the router which is the edge router for pune uh, r2 is the router which is the edge router for chennai now this routers will act as uh, vpn peers or we can see a uh, gateways both of this router router r1 and r2 uh, they have taken an internet link so this public network is nothing but an internet and this is the lan segment for pune which is uh, this segment 10th segment and this is for the lan segment for chennai so now here what is what we need to achieve is the traffic which is going from this lan segment that is from pune's lan segment to chennai's lan segment should go through the tunnel and the traffic which is going from uh, from chennai's lan to pune's lan should go through the tunnel that is whenever vasant is going to communicate with ankush the traffic should go from tunnel and whenever ankush is communicating with vasan the traffic should go through the tunnel so let's first of all check whether they are able to ping or not uh, what i'll do is i'll just take the access of this pc one pc one is of vasan right so let's keep this stuff so this is pc two i tried pinging from vasant this is this is ankush pc so from ankush i'm able to ping vasant's pc in pune and uh, from vasant also we'll check ankush ip is 20 dot ip is 20 dot 0 dot 0 dot okay it's 100 so so yeah so we have the connectivity between now this ping traffic which is actually going from pune and chennai this is going unprotected over this public network fine now we have to pass this traffic to a tunnel so let's start the configurational step for war for this what i'll do is i'll just keep this uh, slide intact so this is the first step we're going to do that is uh, create acl to define the interesting traffic now i see here the interesting traffic will be the lan uh, traffic so we need to define it in acl so for r1 what i'll do is let's take the r1 over here diagram i'll keep over here and this is the r1 and i'll start configuring r1 okay so let's define an acl ip access list extended it take an acl 100 and defined here the traffic permit ip so here the source ip will be the for from this router's point of view from pune's router point of view you need to define the lan uh, in source the lan of pune and in destination the lan of chennai so let's do it 10.0.0.0 the wildcard marks for slash 24 255 so this is the acl which i have defined for uh, the lan traffic of pune now now do it let's do it for router 2 as well so go in the configuration mode i'll define the same uh, access list number so this access list number guys is is uh, locally significant so you can take any access list 
number but i'm just taking the same but again it's your choice i'll copy the same statement but i need to do some changes because i am on the chennai's router so the source will be chennai's lan and the destination will be pune's lan so i've made that changes let me check the acl okay pune routers yes what i'll do guys is just change the host name pune and chennai fine now let's start with the step number 2 so the step number 2 was to define parameters of ike phase 1 and these are the three steps so the very first step is to enable crypto icecap so the step to do is is very simple let's do it on chennai router first of all now for any command of ike phase 1 configuration going to start with crypto icecap and then the rest of the command okay so it's going to begin with crypto icecap so i have enabled here Uh, let me enable the same thing on Pune's router. Crypto as I can enable. Okay. Now the step number two is to configure the HAGLE, that is the Hegel parameters. So let's do it on Pune's router first of all. We'll go in the configurational mode. Crypto as I can. Now here it's the step you need to remember now i've told you that you know for ik phase 1 you always define uh, something known as policy so this is policy and then then you need to give a a, a protection suit a, a number for the protection suit which uh, which ranges from 1 to 10000 now this number uh plays an important role in determining which policy should be used between the peers uh, lower the number higher the priority now if i am having a number 1 so it is having the highest priority and if i am having a number for example 10 so 10 is having less priority as compared to 1 so lower the number higher the priority and as i told this number plays an important role in determining which policy should be used between the peers because you can have multiple ik phase 1 policies so when determining which policy to be used both the ipc peers actually shares the list of this uh, policies with each other and then the policies are compared with the highest to the lowest priority like if if it is having the highest priority means the one which is having a lower number so that is compared and then the one which is matched is used for ik phase 1 uh, negotiation so this is how it works so what i'll do is i'll take a random number maybe 10 and uh, i just go and enter here now i have to define the parameters so the parameters like h the hegel h a g l e so h is the hash so for hashing algorithm i'll choose sha uh, h a authentication authentication guys i'll use pre shared h a g g is the group defilement group i'll use defilement group 5 h a g l l is the lifetime so if you go for lifetime you can see uh the value actually starts minimum value is 60 seconds that is 1 minute and the highest value is 24 hours that is 8604 uh, 8000 6 uh, 86400 uh, seconds so lifetime guys it will even if the lifetime do not match ik phase 1 can come up because uh, lifetime uh, you know the one which is having a lower lifetime uh, you know ik phase 1 will will get negotiate on it for example like pune's router we we kept the lifetime as 24 hours and for chennai router if we kept the lifetime as 12 hours then ik phase 1 will negotiate on 12 hours lifetime so i'll keep it as default that is 24 hours uh, so h a g is done l lifetime e is easy encryption so i'll keep encryption as aes so these are the parameters i've defined to show history okay so these are the parameters i've defined so what i'll do simply is i'll copy copy all this stuff and paste it because i need exactly the same configuration again the priority the, the number which are which we are using for the policy it 
it is again you can use any number that is not a problem i think i pasted it on the same router paste in channel router. okay so that is not a problem so this is done uh, the configuration to check the policy is show crypto as a cap policy okay so guys uh, i just forgot to tell you that this is the policy a uh, default policy is always present if you check that is default uh, protection suit you check here this is the default one okay. but now we have created the protection suit 10 that is the policy 10 we have created we we use the encryption as aes we use the hash algorithm as uh, sha and uh, then we use the pre-shared key mm, then the defilement the group 5 we use the, the lifetime we kept as a default for channel router also you can check show crypto isa camp policy so this policy you should match okay now the priority now this priority thing like this is the priority 10 like if it is having multiple priorities like 10 20 30 40 and so on then this two will compare each other's policy okay and the one which is the which is having a, a better a better uh, what do you say a lower number will get match first and then we get negotiate over it now let's move forward with the next step that is set peer and key so let's set the peer and key on pune's router crypto as a camp uh, key yeah so it is key and here you can see there are two options zero and six so zero tells like specifies an unencrypted password will for uh, will follow and six is specifies a encrypted password will follow so i'll take it as zero and the password is cisco one two three uh guys this means that you know uh means i'm not I'm not, this password will be uh, will be seen in clear text. If anyone is having the access to this router, can view this password in clear text. If I choose the option six, it means that the password we won't be any, any anybody won't be able to view the password on this router. Uh, both the both it doesn't mean that you know you are setting it as zero that is unencrypted. The password will go on unencrypted format. No, it is not going to go unencrypted both even if you keep it as zero or six the password when it is traveling or the public network it is going to go encrypted only uh, unencrypted and encrypted the difference is like if you are keeping unencrypted you can view the password on the router and if you are keeping it as encrypted you won't be able to view the password on the router i'll show you both the things so let's check this first of all uh, this is the peer ibm defining so it is two same thing i'll just copy and paste it on chennai's router as well take this this is my chennai's router okay so i'll just go into the configuration mode the prp will change so this is how it is so if you give this command show crypto sikm key you can see here the key here is the peer and here is the key that is Cisco one two three. Now I'll just configure one dummy thing and I'll show you. I'll just take it as this as six. If it if I, if I keep it as six, and maybe a number any dummy number if I take thirteen for example. And now you check. See here it is showing encrypted the password is same only cisco one two three but here it is showing as encrypted we'll just remove this one so we have done with uh, step number two now step number three is defining the ik fees two parameters so that is defining the uh, transform set so the command is very simple again crypto ipsec this time because we are defining for phase two so it will be crypto ipsec and then we have to define it the transform set we have to give a name to the transform set so let's give a name as amar 
and uh, in transform set again you have two options uh, I told you that are two things like uh, authentication header and ESP that is AH and ESP uh, in I told you that you know in ESP you will get encryption whereas in AH you won't get encryption so here it is you can have two options like AH is having MD5 uh, has the uh, hashing and SHA is hashing but you won't find AH with encryption option but whereas for ESP you can find this encryption op options also that is ESP triple dash ESP AES you can find as well as you can find for ESP MD5 so uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll take it option for ESP. So I'll define this at ESP AES. Okay. And ESP, I think so for AES, I, I may need to define some bits also. So I defined 128 bits. Okay. And then ESP, I'll take it as sharp HMAC. So this is the transform set which I have defined. Uh, again this transform set values are uh, you can take any name these are locally significant so here I have taken number you may take another name on the another router so in Chennai router also I'll take the same name for simplicity now the command to check this is show crypto ipsec because it is phase 2 transform set so this is the transform set here also show crypto ipsec transform set okay now let's move forward with the last step that is uh, creating a crypto map now creating a crypto map is like bundling everything so I'll just create a crypto map over here crypto map and give the name to crypto map as tech map uh, I need to give a sequence number to this so I'll give a sequence number as 10 and I need to define this thing that is IPsec ISAC amp because uh, we are using IPsec and not manual but manual keying no we are using as ISAC amp so I have to define it as IPsec ISAC amp uh, this new crypto map will remain disabled until a peer and a valid ACL has been uh, configured so this is saying that this new crypto map that is the tech map this crypto map is disabled until we configure a peer so we have to configure a peer and a valid ACL have been configured so valid ACL means the interesting traffic ACL number so let's do it uh, let's set the peer first of all so the peer will be 12 dot I'm on Pune's router so the peer will be 12 dot 12 dot so 0 is the peer and ACL I can do it like match address and the ACL number which I have taken that is 100 fine and the other thing I need to do is I need to set or the transform set I need to set it over here I need to tell the crypto map that uh, this is the transform set I'm using so the name of the transform set was Amar Tech or Amar I think so let me check what was it I think it was Amar yeah it was Amar only so the transform set was name was Amar so I'll use that same name I have to use that same name so I have defined these three things similarly I'll define the same things on Chennai router also crypto map I'll use the same name tech map I can use any other name and IPsec then I need to define the peer so here the peer will be the Chennai Pune's routers IP set peer set and match match address 100 here also we use the ACL 100 to define the interesting traffic and set transform set Amar so we have defined it now you can check guys over here this is the very 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 important command which which you can use a lot while troubleshooting this is the command show crypto map this is the command this give you it actually bundles up all the configurational stuff whatever you have done in ipsec 
so here you can check that the, the crypto map name is a uh, tech map uh, here is the peer ip here is the acl which is defining the uh, interesting traffic here is the actual interesting traffic uh, here is the lifetime here is the transform set and the interface using for crypto we have not yet defined the interface so we need to define the interface so here the interface guys will be uh, this particular interface the the van interface because our traffic is whenever your traffic is leaving your router that should be encrypted so it is leaving through this particular interface that is serial zero for so this is also the the, the inter van interface is serial zero so we need to define on both the routers van interface the crypto map go in serial zero mm, crypto map tech map simple now for r2 also define the same thing interface serial zero crypto map tech map fine so i've defined for both the routers now now let's check whether your phase one and phase two tunnel is up or not and is show crypto isa camp sa so the phase one is not up if the phase one is not up guys phase two is not going to get up uh, the command to check phase two is close to crypto ipsec sa you we'll see some output over here but guys here you can see there is no traffic which is there so this means that you know packet encapsulation a decapsulation encryption digest that is md5 hashing uh, verify so this are this is something you should see some output over here but you can see here no output uh, also some errors there's no error because there's no traffic which we have initiated so let's initiate some traffic first of all uh, let's check on chennai router also before we initiate some traffic whether some session is up or not no no there's no session which is up show crypto ipsec sa no traffic so let's let's initiate some traffic okay so let's just initiate some traffic initiate some traffic from pc1 to pc2 that is from vasant to ankush so two pings failed three pings failed fourth ping yeah successful so now we will be able to see some something crypto is formed or not uh second so see guys here is the ipsec vpn tunnel is formed i k phase one tunnel here you can see it is formed uh, i am from i am in pune router so this is the destination this is the source the status is qm idle that is good uh, the connection id is one and the status here is the, the state is qm idle and the status is active so that is good so that means i k phase one tunnel is up let's check i k phase two tunnel you can see here the trap you can see some numbers over here that means the traffic is passing by you can see some error also because you know popping failed so maybe that because of that this is the error so you can see this stuff over here again if you check now the here the packets are 55 let's check now again it is 63 because we have put in the continuous ping over there that is the reason again on chennai's router we will check show crypto is a cam essay yes now for phase 2 this is the command now the packet is 84 now so this is how you can check uh, did whether the traffic is flowing or not earlier when we pinged uh, from uh, from wasan's pc to ankush pc and vice versa we saw that the traffic was going in the plain text but now the traffic is not going through the plain text it is uh, actually uh, going uh, through encryption uh, through the tunnel so that is the interesting traffic so guys i'll uh, stop this video over here i'll come up with another video maybe for the troubleshooting uh, stuff if you need the notes for uh, for this particular uh, ipsec series ipsec vpn series you can just mail me on this email address amar.textof@gmail.com i'll mail you the uh, stuff 
you can also find the configurational stuff whatever we have discussed in this video on my particularly on this website or you can say the blog uh, this is the blog which I'm which I write uh, I try to post almost you know daily but sometimes it is not possible but still I try to post something daily on this particular blog so you can you can just check the configurational things which we did you can find find that stuff over on this particular blog also I have mentioned everything in this blog from the point of view of configuration which we have done in this video so I'll also paste the uh, link of this particular uh, blog in the description section of this video uh, I'll come up with more videos guys but again now after this video I may not uh, upload the video um, very regularly on IPsec VPN but I'll try to uh, upload some troubleshooting videos some uh, I also try to upload a video on uh, on on various show commands for uh, for IPsec VPN maybe I'll, I'll also try to upload video for the Wireshark output of IPsec VPN so by the time how much I time get I'll, I'll try to upload those the stuff on this on, in this particular series so guys uh, hopefully you like this video uh, if you really like this video guys please please do share this videos uh, you may find it as you you might have hopefully found uh, found it useful uh, other your friends may also find it useful so guys please do subscribe uh, my channel Amar Tech Stuff which will actually uh, help me in getting more subscribers and eventually motivate me to make more such informational educational videos on this particular channel so guys I'll stop here I'll meet you in the next video uh, for, for the timing bye thanks for watching have a nice day